Hi, this is your girl Red from Ear Hustle 411. This evening I am here at the fifth annual meet and greet block club DJ. And I'm sitting here with no other than manager extraordinaire Lyric. Can I get it right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I get it right. Uh, fantastic. Lyric, why don't you introduce yourself um, and just kind of give everybody your title and, and just go into letting them know what it is that you do. Okay. Oh, you want to take my mic? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, my name is Lyrical. Um, I have Lyrical Eyes Management that is very well known um, almost all over the world. Um, I have a label that I started with AZ Production, and it's called 323 Music Group. It's after my deceased brother. Um, I've worked with all type of artists in Chicago. Um, I've gotten as far as getting one of my former artists to Timberland. Um, Zay has one of the biggest YouTube channels in the Midwest. Um, we just relocated to Atlanta. So we're out there trying to take over and just do different things. So we've been blessed. Now how long have you been in the management game? Oh my goodness. This is 2015 since 2009. Yes. And you have a, a, a lot of work that um, precedes you. So that's fantastic. How is it in this business being a female? You really want me to answer that on camera? <laughs> um, because people need to real, they need to understand it. Because I know that there are young ladies out there who would aspire to do mm -hmm. what you do, but they're probably scared to. Yeah. Um, I would say be scared, because you, if you come in thinking that it's, it's easy, it's not. Um, it took me years to prove myself, years of hard work, dedication, emotion, tears, everything. Um, the struggle is real because they don't do, they do not want to let us in. It's some men that are not intimidated by a strong black woman, but then it's some that, you know, we don't know what we're doing, and we just doing something to be doing something, or they think that you doing stuff to get to the top. So I just I'm a very I'm a prayer warrior so I just felt like I knocked the doors down if somebody told me no I was gonna make them say yes and that's exactly what happened but um being a woman in this business it, it takes its toll it's not fair it's so no it's not far glass when it comes yes yes in this yes wow yes but you've been able to knock down doors and I like the fact that, that you said that you are uh, uh, a warrior with God because yeah. without having God first it's a whole lot that you'll never be able to do well, yeah, this, this this music business is the devil. The industry, um, you have to have God in every relationship that you that you go forth with in, you know, school, music, if you work in corporate America, your relationships, anything you have to have God in. So when you when he's when you when you're dealing with things that are not of God, then certain things will always attack you, you know. So I'm just the advocate of the struggle because I've been there, I've done that, I'm an artist, um, I used to sing, I'm a poet, as the lady knew me from, I'm a poet, I'm an author, but this is my passion to be able to teach us that if you just have a little bit of faith and you work and you're not thirsty just to be doing something and make a name for yourself then you have patience you know remember what your grandmother told you so that's why I've been able to get so much respect because I'm the person that says what's on my mind I don't I don't hold back no matter who you are no matter I got as far as LA Reed and he was like you know you're one of the realest people that I've ever met and it's like that's because I speak my mind because I'm too scared to hold back because if I hold back then I'm gonna miss that chance of letting somebody really know how passionate I am about artists and trying to get them to the next level. Well, I love it because anything without works is dead. So you put in a lot of energy, you put in a lot of hard work and a lot of time. What keeps you going? Oh, Lord. Um, what keeps me going? It seems so small, but such a big thing, right? Because if I stop, then the enemy has won. You know, like if I stop, I have my days where, you know, I'm challenged by like a lot of things, but if I stop, then I got a lot of people that's looking up to me. I got a lot of people that, you know, have stopped and, you know, then come to me and like, but Lyric, I want to start over. So if I stop, how can I tell them like, you can get over this or, you know, well, just try it a different way. So I just, my kids motivate me. They need me. And I'm a single parent, you know, so I have to do whatever is necessary. It's not an option for me. It's not an option for me. So I just, I'm a hustler. I work. I work. I work. I work. 
I love that. And that, that hustler mentality keeps you going and going. Yeah. Uh, because it's more than just the basics. Yeah. And I, and I love to hear that. I think young ladies out there need to hear that. Yeah. They need to see and hear from women like you more. Because we, uh, you know, in such a trying time right now, where they're not feeling uh, like they can succeed. Yeah. And, and you would you bring so much to the table. Yeah. So, uh, were you born and raised in Chicago? I was born and raised in Flossmore, Illinois. Um, my mother is a prestigious doctor. Um, my father was a stockbroker. Um, so, but my grandmother's from Chicago, and I was always in the city. I was one of the kids that was dropped off at grandma's house when mommy had to keep working. Um, but I want, I'm doing it for the, for, the, for the ladies, you know, because I've seen every situation in this industry thus far on my level. And you have to have thick skin. Believe it or not, like I used to be shy. I used to never want to speak. I never used to never want to do anything. And then as, as I became bigger and people started, you know, acknowledging me, and it was just like, okay, well, uh, Lyric, you must be doing something right. You know what I'm saying? So I've had good situations. I've had bad situations. But I want women to know that this is 2015 is the year of the woman. The woman. Period. Like, period. I'm doing um, a seminar in Cancun um, with, I'm, I started something called The Real Women of Chicago. And I'm taking a group of ladies that people feel are not, you know, probably feel like they're not housewives, you know, like the regular typical shows. But I'm trying to bring together, like, independence to show all type of, you know, all walks of life that you can do whatever it is that you want to do. Being a woman, you don't have to be scared. And standing up for yourself and just kind of like going with the flow of everything. I love that. Now, if anybody want to get in touch with you out there, how can they do that? Um, they can get in contact with in contact with me. They can go to my label. It's 323, the numbers, music group at gmail.com. One of my interns or one of my staff will get back to you. Um, yeah, that's the best way right now to get in contact. I used to give my number out. And I still have the same exact number. So if anybody still knows that number, then it's the, but now, but now I can't give it out. So, but yeah, but you can get in contact with me through my email or my Twitter. My Twitter is um, lyrical eyes azp or Instagram, which is very popular now, is lyrical's heart. So. Well, fantastic. And if you had words of wisdom to leave the ladies out there today, what would that be? Um, stay prayed up. Um, put God first in everything. Um, know that you're gonna have haters no matter what you no matter how, no matter what you do, you're gonna have somebody that's not gonna agree with it or that's gonna come around and do something better. But don't let anybody surprise you. Always stay on your A game and just kinda like you know it is what it is and just keep you know, use use that hate to motivate you and to to build your confidence, but stay prayed up. Like keep God in every single situation that you can bring him into and mentor the people about him because when you do that then that blocks the devil out from being able to attack you but he'll attack you even even and then even if he does come attack you be prepared for it because you know God's anointing he only sends the devil to mess with you anyway just to see if you'll be able to take it so do what you got to do. Get your money. Hustle. Hustle, hustle. I like that. Well, you've heard it here first from Lyric and your girl Red at Ear Hustle 411, where we're keeping our ears to the streets.